Okay, what I wanted to do was go through um, some of the more in-depth features of Ping Pong Battle. Uh, just explaining a little bit more. We're going to do a demo. We want to make sure that everyone understands how this works. So these are uh, still images. This is all the concept art um, that will be in the final version. But as we said, we're looking to launch this in about, we're hoping, uh, within the next 48 hours. So we're still putting all the little pieces together in the actual gameplay. But you start off, obviously, with your screen. You have two choices to battle or practice. In the battle, um, you can either play with paddles, which are obviously the iPhones, or you can play without paddles, which, you know, to each his own, I guess. If you choose the without paddle option, um, you basically, each player on each side of the iPad, you use your finger to serve and return the ball, and you use a swiping gesture to do a basic um, spin on the ping pong. So with that said, um, yeah, some of the other features, obviously, of your standard board. Um, when playing with the paddle or without, you have your score that's up on the top, very clean, very simple. Um, we wanted to make sure that we took advantage of the entire real estate screen space of the iPad. Also, we have board, um, custom boards or custom tables that you can unlock through playing the game. Um, these will obviously increase as we move forward with the app's development and the gameplay. Uh, right now there's four total boards that you can pick from and, and uh, play on. So what I want to talk about a little bit more in depth is the actual use of the iPhone and the iPad. One of the big things that we love about the iPad is the screen size. One of the things that is kind of a deterrent of the iPad is the glass, glossy screen. Um, it makes for difficult viewing angles outside and we want this game to be something that you can play anywhere. Um, so with that said, what we did on the iPhone, and you'll notice this when you start playing the game, is that the sound of the actual ping pong is going to be coming from the iPhone, meaning you're going to hear a swoosh sound. And the whole gameplay is designed around making sure that you swing at the right, uh, the right time of the swoosh sound. So what that does is, yes, you're going to need the iPad for scoring, connecting, all those different things, but if you're playing out, say, outside on a sunny day, you don't necessarily have to see the iPad screen, you can listen for the sound and know when to hit. We're also adding combo moves into the paddles themselves, so double, double tapping, gestures, things like that. We'll actually do spins, fireballs, all kinds of different things as we develop the app. Um, what's, what we're going to be releasing the app with to start off with is spin and hit strength. Um, you also have paddles that you can unlock. As you see some of the paddles here, uh, you can go through, we've got all kinds of different paddles. Um, even the first version, and so those will again grow as we move on. One of the things that we're doing as well with this app is the social integration. Um, check out our Facebook page and our website. We are looking for the most creative individuals to show us where they have played this app. Um, once a month we'll be giving away an iTunes gift card, and then also every time we update we're looking for those uh, great artists that are out there to show us some of their custom paddles and boards that they would like to see in the app. So that gives you a little bit more uh, explanation as to how the app works. Um, again, it's all about entertainment. It's all about you know showing and utilizing both your iPhone and your iPad. It's a lot of fun to play. We're going to show you a demo now of exactly how you can play this app and enjoy.